Hey, Leo. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is going to be an X reading to see if it's likely that your ex will come back. This is for December 6th through the 12th. If this reading does not resonate for you guys, please check your Moon and Rising signs as well, okay? If you need a personal reading, um, you can visit my website at pinkarygem.com. All right, guys. Let's see if it's likely if your ex will come back. All right. Leo. Hmm. Death. Page of Wands. Moon. The World. Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords. If it's likely. Okay? So we start off with you with death. This is where you currently are. You are, you have ended something and began this transformation. Transformation of character. Transformation of the way that you think the things that you want, you know, you no longer, you no longer think about things the way that you used to. Okay. You have this broader perspective of life, what it means to be in love. Okay. Now this person, your ex comes as the page of wands and pages are immature energy. And this person could be younger than you or just less you know, mature than you are. But um, I think at this point, this person is really realizing that um, they had something with you. They had something with you, but I think there is a fear here that, and I think that's why they're coming up as a page. It's because there's a fear that they have realized that you meet the world to them a little too late. They still want to come and, you know, present their case to you, but there's a fear of rejection I'm sensing here from this person, okay? Now, what you want is the moon, to see things clearly. You want to know how they really feel. You don't want things to be up in the air. You don't want things to be hidden. You know, no ambiguity. Like, you want a straight shooter. You want a straight shooter. What this person wants is for this cycle not to end with you. That's what they want. Like, they want to go back in time. They want to go back and change things. You know, unfortunately, we can't go back in time. We have to move forward. But, you know, you can... You can't fix things, but you can make them better. You can make them better. And they want another chance with you. They want to start a whole new cycle with you. They can't go back in time, but they can make things right. But, you know, that this fear, this fear, this immaturity is holding them back currently, okay? And then what you actually need is to just find your happiness. Find what makes you happy. Like really and truly happy on the inside to your core. You know, nothing superficial. But, you know, what floats your boat? Here with the Nine of Cups. What floats your boat? We have Pisces energy here, Scorpio. Um, just to, you know... There is a there's a lot of sadness surrounding um, the connection with your ex, lots of sadness surrounding that, and I feel like you've been in the bog lately, like not feeling your best self. But there is a need here for you to start living your best life. For you, because this person is not the end all be all. I know you probably love them, love them, like to the core, but 
if loving them causes you to hurt yourself, then you have to be able to detach from this energy. You have to be able to detach from this energy, okay? Now, what they need is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, they need to stand up. They need to put forth the action that is needed to bring this relationship back together if that is what they want. They need to be passionate about you. They, they need to let you know that they're passionate about you. They need to be loving, welcoming. They need to use their heart when it comes to you as far as making decisions about you and this connection. Okay? That is what they need to do. Because I feel like they've been real, excuse me, kind of standoffish. And um, just trying to see, you know, every which way that they can go to, to shield themselves. But in love, you have to be vulnerable. That's how you even get to the part of loving somebody, like truly, is when you allow yourself to be vulnerable. And this person is not really wanting to allow themselves to be vulnerable. They want to keep the situation the way it is and not change, but that's not going to work because you are changing. You are changing. You are going through this transformation, awakening process, and they're going to have to get on board to be on the same vibration with you. Okay, so is there anyone else involved? Not for you. This is a Taurus energy, Seven of Pentacles. This is you hoping, <coughs> this is you hoping that things will turn around. That this person will come forth and show you what it is that they want from you. Show you that they want you. You've put all your eggs in this basket, I feel like, with this person. Because you really felt like they were the one. So there is nobody else for you currently. I don't feel. Now, for the other person, for your ex, I feel like there could possibly be there could possibly be somebody that that is in their life currently. I don't feel like it's somebody that is um that is solid like they're in a in a relationship. I think that they are in the process, not say that they haven't been dating, they may have, but I feel like they're more in a process of trying to decide what, what to do about the relationship with you. We have Libra energy here. We have um, <clears throat> Aries, another Leo like yourself, Sag energy. But yeah, I think they're more trying to decide whether or not um, to come towards you. Because they, they truly don't want to be rejected. They don't even want to take the chance. Like It's almost like they want to know for sure that if they come back and offer you something that you will undoubted, undoubtedly accept it. Okay? So let's see if this union is likely. Ten of Pentacles, for sure. For sure. But I feel like in order for this union to really come together, there has to be a sense of humbleness um, between the two of you. This is, this is creating something stable, like solid, tangible things together, a legacy, wanting to build upon... Um, an, an already solid foundation, actually. This, this is somebody that is very familiar to you, I feel. Like, very, very familiar. Like, th there is, um, there is um, a great history between the two of you, I feel like. So, yeah, this is, this is very likely, okay? So, Leo, that is what I have for you for December 6th through the 12th, and I'll be speaking with you soon.